As you may know, AI tools have skyrocketed in popularity over the years, revolutionizing the way we approach projects, our businesses, and even the way we make content. But one problem that many people are facing is that even though the potential for AI is massive, so is the monthly subscriptions. It often feels that every time I come across a new AI app or website, the feature I'm excited about always has some type of pro plan or some type of subscription that's just totally not worth it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best AI tools for voice changing, image generation, and artificial chatbots. I'm going to do my best to keep everything short and simple and user friendly, so let's waste no more time and get straight into the video. What will you do if I am infected? Cure me? First off, we have Easy AI Voice. It's a voice changer for pre-recorded recordings with over 92,000 AI voice models. To use it, click on Run Voice Tool, type in the audio you're looking for, I'll type in News Reporter, select male or female, I'll select female, adjust the pitch if you want to tweak the sound, import the audio file, and once it's processed, listen to when it's complete. What's up everybody, I am Ferg, make sure to give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe. What's up everybody, I am Ferg, make sure to give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe. Now, if you're looking for a free live voice changer, leave a comment down below that's a little bit more complex and I will have to cover that in a separate video. But if you are looking for one right now, a popular free live voice changer is called Clownfish and it is limited on the number of voices, but it's just a simple download and it's very user friendly. Next up is image generation. I'm briefly going to go over this one because all image generated AIs do around the same thing. They just have a different interface with different options, but both of these I recommend are both free and easy to use. First up is Mag Space. This is my go-to because their free version gives you a text box, a place to import a reference image, can change the image size, and you can also change the style of the image. It's really easy to use and get the hang of quickly. If that's not your cup of tea and you like something a little bit more hands-on, Playground AI free version is a lot more strategic. You have a side menu where you can change the size, you can upload one to four reference images, you can change the AI model and filter, and even add specifics on what you don't want to pop up in your image with also a text box to describe what you do want to pop up in your image at the very top. Both are great options for image generation with all the features I mentioned being free, but now let's move over to chatbots. For chatbots, I switched over from ChatGPT to Perplexity. This is because you can specify on what you want your AI to concentrate when you ask it a question. There's a feature to add several images with your question for a limited amount of time and it has a discovery and library page to inform you of what's relevant while also keeping data on every conversation in case you need to go back to a previous convo. If that sounds like a little bit too much and you like something a little bit more simpler, Claude is a lot more down to earth. It has the ability to answer very specific questions. You can upload an image with your question and you can also capture a screenshot of your screen so the AI knows exactly what you're asking for. Anyways, that's just about everything. If you'd like me to make more videos like this in the future, like and subscribe and I am Ferg and I'll see you in the next one.